Welcome to the Viva Energy Geelong Refinery. Operating since 1954, we produce over half of Victoria's fuel needs. That's 17.5 million litres of fuel every day, or enough fuel to daily power 290,000 vehicles. It's a big job, and a big job creator for our region. The refinery employs approximately 700 people and spends more than $200 million each year locally in wages and services. And we make more than just petrol and diesel for your car. In addition to being the only Australian manufacturer of bitumen, solvents and aviation gasoline, we also make jet fuel, LPG and fuel oil for factories and ships. But how does it all happen? How do refineries work? Let's take a look. It all begins with the delivery of crude oil to the refinery. While some crude oil enters via pipeline or by road tanker, much of it is unloaded from ships at our jetty. It's then stored in crude oil tanks, which supply our refinery units 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The refining process truly begins, however, when the crude oil is heated and separated in our crude distillation towers. Here, the many different hydrocarbon molecules in crude oil are separated over the range of their boiling temperatures. The result is a variety of gases and liquids derived from crude oil that make the different products. Residue removed from the bottom forms bitumen. Other products are derived at cooler temperatures and different heights within the tower. As products condense into various liquids, they're collected on trays while the lightest gases rise to the top and are extracted for LPG. A complex system of pipes then transports the fuels around the refinery, keeping them separate and directing them either to storage or for further processing. In order to maximise our production of petrol and diesel, the products we need the most of, refineries employ conversion units. In Geelong's case, we use a cracker or catalytic cracker, a reformer and an alkylation unit. Cracking works to break the heavy long chain hydrocarbons into shorter and more useful molecules and gases. Reforming uses heat, pressure and a catalyst to upgrade the naphtha gas produced during distillation and cracking into new compounds for blending. And alkylation chemically reshapes key compounds generated through distillation to form the larger branched chain molecules crucial for high octane fuels like Shell V-Power. The result of these various conversions are higher octane components for petrol blending and increased output of diesel or LPG fuels. One of the last steps in the refinery process for diesel and petrol is blending. This is far more than a simple mixing. Here, fuel components are blended to achieve optimal performance and fuel economy in the final product, before being stored in tanks prior to transport. All the while, the flare serves to safely remove any excess gas produced during refining. Everything is done in accordance with the strictest processes and procedures to ensure the safety of our people, the community and the environment. We even have an on-site laboratory continually testing all our fuels, ensuring they always meet the highest quality and regulatory specifications. Finally, Finished fuels are made ready for delivery to service stations and commercial customers via trucks or pipelines that transfer fuel to our Newport terminal to service metropolitan and regional areas across Victoria. Fuels are also shipped out from the jetty, completing the cycle of the refining process. So if you've ever wondered how crude oil is made into quality fuels like Shell V-Power, now you know. We're glad we could share some of what we do with you. Thank you from Viva Energy.